Hey guys, I'm Julius, and today I'll give you my take on how you can create a better glow effect in Adobe After Effects. So I am here in my After Effects where I prepared a fun little short animation. But anyways, let's get started. So the first effect I'm gonna search for here is an effect called Slider Control. And just apply that four times to our clip, which we want to apply the glow to. Like so. And we will actually use these to control our effect. Before we get too far into this tutorial, I want to say I got inspired by some other guy who made something similar, but this is kind of my take on this tutorial. But anyways, let's rename these so we know what we're doing. This first one here, glow size. I'm going to use that to control the glow size. This next one here, we're going to use to kind of control the glow fall off. And this third one here, we're going to use to control the glow amount. And this last one here is just kind of kind of like be a split so we kind of know where we go from the sliders to the um to the actual effect for now just so i can see what i'm doing i'm gonna put in 100 here 25 and 50 and this is not gonna do anything right now but once we start playing with the effect you will see what uh, the effect coming to life I am going to start by searching for an effect called Fast Box Blur and just applying that. I'm going to come down here into my composition, Fast Box Blur and Blur Radius. This Blur Radius here, I want to drag this thing here to the slider here on the glow size. I also want to change the iterations to 4. And I want to open the Blur Radius here and change the, uh, the expression a little bit. So we have an expression here. But I also want to store a variable here. I'm going to call this variable glow form of GF for short. Equals. And again here. I am going to drag this expression pick here to the glow form of slider. And now we've stored a variable. I'm going to divide this by 10 to make it a little bit more soft. I kind of like what the other guy did in this tutorial. So I'm going to do something similar. All right. Next up, I'm going to search for an effect called CC Composite, and this will basically just kind of layer the clip on top. If we change it to Composite Original to Add, and if we change, click this off. And we're basically just layering the same clip now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the fast box blur and the CC Composite, Control C, Control V to duplicate it. And here it's pretty important you uh, keep your tongue in your mouth, because it's been, going to be a little bit... Uh, not difficult, but we're going to change the, uh, a little bit of uh, things. So in here, first and foremost, we're going to change the glow size in here, the, uh, the effect here, to fast box blur, like so. And the slider here, we are going to change this to blur radius. Blur radius. like so and then we are going to divide it by the variable that we have stored and i think this does not work because i had a small r but now as you can see we're already starting to get some glow here it's starting to look pretty nice and what you can actually see here is that if i open the fast blocks blur one here it's 100 and this one is 40 but if i change the glow uh, glow size to let's say 40 you will see these ones change respectively. So that's pretty nice. But let's just keep it at 100 for now. But what I kind of want to do just to keep this effect going to enhance the glow. Is just again duplicate these layers. And I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to do it a fifth time. And nothing happened here. And that is because we got to go into each one of them. Into our formula here. And change the fast box bar here to 2 in this one so it references the past I'm gonna come into the fourth one here make it reference the third like so and I'm gonna come into the last one here and I'm gonna make this one kind of like reference the fourth one like so and now you can see we're starting to really get somewhere to get to something that looks really decent here and we're actually almost done with the effect. What I'm gonna do now is actually search for the standard glow effect here. Apply that. I am gonna come open it down here in our composition, like so. And I kind of want the glow radius here 
to be linked to the oops I want the glow radius here to be linked to the glow size so again here we drag this to the slider and the glow intensity this one beneath we're gonna drag this one to the glow amount sorry let me just open that one so to that let me just make sure that I got that right that looks fine and as you can see that made a really really big difference but all of this kind of adds to the effect the last step to just ever more enhance the glow effect is just add a, maybe a levels or something like that i just want to pull in the uh, change this to maybe the alpha here and just pull in this just a slight bit just to enhance the glow something like that and i think that's absolutely beautiful now you can play around with the glow size and it will affect the entire image here. I think that's super cool. So this is quite a huge effect and I get that you do not want to create these all the time. So what you can do is select all of them. You go into animation and you click save animation preset and you can call it something. I called the, the previous one or this one pseudo deep glow. So you can just save it, yes replace. And then over here in your effects, it will be in here animation presets and user presets and you can apply it and you can see that they all like come here i suggest using this glow effect on something made out of strokes kind of like this text here that is where i think it really gets to shine it doesn't really work on like a old picture or a video it's more like with these fun stroke kind of stuff but anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. If you did, then please make sure to like this video and leave a comment down below. Let me know which type of tutorial you would like to see next. But anyways, take care guys.